asked about players learning differently, assimilating the you know, scouting report game plan differently. In this environment, when you're swapping out opponents so quickly and don't have a lot of time to prepare, is there one type of learner or player that you know learns better, is better prepared for this? Well, I, I think go back to the bad boy mowers um, uh, tournament. We had four scouts before we finally they finally settled on who we played first. So um, I think our young guys got indoct indoctrinated fast. Um, I don't know. I mean, we still do. I mean, we'll we'll walk through it. We will we'll play live through it. We'll watch film, you know, we'll talk about it, we'll hand out a scouting report for them to read, try to try to figure out um, whatever whatever means are best for, for them. We'll go to Justin Jackson. Hey coach, uh, obviously uh, the situation uh, this year with scheduling is uh, very unique, very weird. Uh, so, the, you know, the game Wednesday with Robert Morris gets canceled late. And then uh, I'm just kind of wondering, like, do you guys have, like, a, a list of, of teams, uh, you know, to sort of call in situations like this? Because, you know, I'm, I'm guessing maybe this won't be the, the first or, or last time something like this happens this year. No, Justin, we're, we're fortunate to have Josh because Josh is uh, – Josh couldn't get – on the uh, get on the laptop and find teams that uh, need games, um, teams that uh, have just you know dropped out of a tournament for whatever reason or or a game. And no, not me. I'm old school, man. I pick up the phone and call and say, "Hey, you want to play?" Josh is way, way, way ahead of me. Cody Nesper. Hey, Coach. Um, I was just wondering, when did you first know or at least have a thought that it would be North Texas? And at this point, how much do you know about them? Yes, it was yesterday. It was, uh, it was yesterday. Was it before or after practice, Josh? I can't remember. But it was so sometime during practice we, we, we found out that uh, they – I mean, I think they actually said we'll be there tomorrow, which would have been today. Uh, but they couldn't, and and they did. They checked the flights, and and they couldn't get a they couldn't get a flight that worked. So, yeah, I mean, it was. I think it was. Uh, you know, after after you have so many people say, "Oh yeah, that sounds great." Uh, yeah, let me talk to my athletic director, and then they don't call you back. You know, if somebody says, you know, "Hey, we're good to go," then you know, I think we we have a tendency to to. Uh, stick with those people more than those people who, hey, let me check and I'll get back with you. Because I, I think yesterday, not to name names, but there were probably three or four people who said, yeah, I'll get right back with you. Let me go talk to my AD or, and, and uh, never did get back with us. Mike Casaza. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Mike, I'm doing terrific. Well, I'm going to hopefully not change that, but put you on the spot here if you don't mind. Well, you usually do. I mean, I'd be a surprise if you didn't. Wouldn't it? Thank you. I'll add that to my resume. Football um, just canceled their Oklahoma game, um, shut down team activities. That's just kind of recent. But Mike Shushevsky had some uh, pointed comments about just the situation the sport is in and coaches are in right now. Um, I don't know how to ask, but like, just does does this feel right at the moment, or are you guys just kind of navigating as you go along and just doing the best you can with every day until someone tells you what to do and you figure out how to handle what the newest directive is? Well, I, I don't think we shut down the country, Mike. Um, you know, I mean, my 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 fear is 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 not what you know you're you're trying to ask me. My fear is, is the alternative. The alternative is we close all the restaurants, we close all the bars, we close everything. They don't open back up. And then we got a whole bunch of downtowns that have absolutely nothing but vacant buildings. And it's happened before. I mean, we, we went through that with the Great Depression and 
I mean, we've, we've got to keep America moving, uh, you know, and, and I understand we have to do that safely. <clears throat> I'm not saying be reckless about it, but, you know, I think, I think uh, you, you can overdo uh, everything, you know, and I, and I think, I think sometimes this has been a little overdone. And, and, you know, and it, it's when you, when you talk about people shutting down and all the cases and all that, the majority of it is contact tracing. Mm -hmm. You know, you have, you have one guy who tests positive and he's on a bus with, with everybody else. And if he comes within six feet of anybody on that bus, then contact tracing says they've got a set. And it's like 14 days. They got a quarantine. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it, 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 it sounds at times worse than what it is, I guess. Um, it, I guess, I guess my, my, I understand what you're saying there, but um, I don't know, just feel confident that you can continue to, I don't want to say piece together a season, but it does kind of feel like piece together a season at this point and then just continually dodge and evade and play games as you can. Well, we shut down the university and we sent our guys home. It's the worst thing I ever could have done mm -hmm. because we had more. That's when we had all the positives. Um, and the time that they've been here and when they got back, obviously we tested them and, and, and made sure that, that uh, everybody was good. But we, we ended uh, – virtually every workout with this is up to you guys. You know, if you guys want to play, you can't, you, you can't put yourself in a bad spot. You know, you've, you, you've got to be, you know, there's enough of you teammates and I understand it's hard. You know, you, you, you can't really, your girlfriend goes home. You can't, you can't have her over to your place. You know, the day she gets back. You can't do that. That's um, that. That's that's a way that this could spread and 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 really end it all for for all of you. You know. So and and they've been great. I mean, they've been they've been they've been fantastic actually, of of trying to do the right thing, trying to take care of themselves. You know, and I say that, and I'll you know I end up jinxing myself, but. Uh, I mean, from basically the time that they got back and, 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 you know, here, here, here's, here's the thing, Mike, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, you ought to send them home. Okay. So we're going to send them home. Do you think they're not going to play somewhere? They're going to play. Whether they go to the YMCA, where they go to the rec, where they go play in, in a playground, um, you know, wh wh whether they go uh, anywhere, their old high school, whatever, they're going to play. I would just as soon control who they're going to be around as not know. And, and so, you know, our guys being here and playing against each other, you know, was good. Uh, um, and it's, it's worked out well for us. All right. Thanks. John Antonic. Along those lines, you're going to have to be agile all year, right? This is something you're going to have to probably deal with until you get to the tournament. Yeah, my days of being agile, um, <laughs> I think, have long since passed. Uh, strange times we're in. Yeah, but but not not you know it's not so strange that I had to try to be agile and hurt myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, now you know you know I mean. There's no guarantees. I mean, you can do everything right and, and still, uh, and, and still end up with, with, uh, COVID-19. I understand that, but I mean, our guys really have taken a lot of precautions and they've given up a lot. I mean, they've given up a lot to, to try to, you know, make sure that we get through the year. And, you know, my thing was, was always, you know, we can, you know, we can do the best we can possibly do and, and hopefully that's enough. Or we can, you know, go run around and, and and end up like we did a year ago. No conference tournament, no NCAA tournament. And and you know, I, I think what, what happened out in South Dakota was good, you know, the bubble. I thought it was good. I thought it turned out well. 
turned out well that you know we were able to we were able to have a tournament we were able to have a championship game is it a sacrifice for them absolutely i mean absolutely it is but i mean it is what it is and and again our guys have been great i mean i can't i can't say enough about how um how much they want to play games and 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 they know they have to do the right thing to play games I was going to mention that because after we got done talking to you, whatever it was, Tuesday or whatever, talked to your guys and they all were like, they're thankful to be playing right now. Particularly Deuce, who watched, who saw on the ticker that the High State Michigan got canceled and he couldn't watch the High State Michigan football game on Saturday. Yeah, well, he could, you know. I, 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 just, I just think, John, that, you know, our guys deserve a lot of credit for, for getting this far. You know, now we got a long, long way to go. Mm -hmm. But if they continue on the path that they've been on and, you know, I mean, hey, some guy can walk up and say hello and shake your hand and the next thing you know, you test positive. But, uh, you know, it's and it's it's hard, man. It's hard somebody comes up and goes to put their arm around you and say, wait, whoa, 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 don't do that, man. You know, that, that, that's tough. And now we're going to come up on Christmas break. What do you do, you know? Do you tell them don't go home at Christmas? I don't think you can do that. You can't tell them go be around family and loved ones at Christmas. And and but you know you take it. It's it's a risk, you know. But it's it's the same thing. We got to do the best job we can possibly do at educating them, you know, so that they they try to avoid uh, everything that they can avoid, even though they go home. But we all know, I mean, we've all, we all know family members have had it. it and it's, you know, the thing, the crazy thing, it's, there's a, there's, there's degrees of it as well. You know, some people have it, don't even know they have it. And other people end up in a hospital and fighting for their life. So it's a, it's, it's a, a tough thing to figure out. Skylar Callahan. Hey, Bob, do you feel a little bit more confident going into this weekend playing two games in three days considering you already got the that kind of system under your belt playing out there in South Dakota? Well, it wasn't ideal. Uh, I mean, obviously, we wanted to play Robert Morris on that day to give us a little bit more time to prepare. Um, but, you know, obviously, they couldn't, they couldn't make it work. So, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I – Turned. I'm, I'm watching. I watched. Uh, I watched North Texas last night, and uh, actually, I watched Richmond first, and then I watched North Texas. And you know, then you, then it's over, and I turn on, turn that off, and turn on the TV, and I'm, I'm watching Pitt play. So I mean, they're, they're, we're, they're, we're playing a lot of basketball, guys. It's basketball still being played. Justin Jackson. Coach, I was going to ask you this the other day when we when we were zooming and and forgot. Um, i was just, just kind of curious on what the reaction might be in in this COVID time and the, with uh, Gonzaga. They, you know, the week before they played you guys, they had you know a player test positive, a staff member I think test positive. They come back to play you. You know, they play you guys, and then after playing you guys, they shut down team activities. I'm just, I am, you know, we're sitting here talking about health and COVID and I'm just kind of wondering if, if, you know, if there's any reaction there uh, on your part. Justin, we can only control what we can control. Um, you know, I can, I can, I can talk to our guys about it. I can't, I can't go lecture anybody else about it. You know, they, everybody, everybody does, you know, what they think is right, and hopefully they're doing the right thing. Um, and and it, it sneaks up on you. I mean, I think that's the, that's the hard thing. I think it, I think it sneaks up on you. You, you could, you could bump into somebody who has COVID-19 that don't know they have it. I mean, at virtually any time. I mean, y'all are probably going to go shopping, buy, buy your wife something really nice and expensive. So, I mean, you're taking a risk going in the store. Keenan Cummings. Of course, you take a risk if you don't buy him something nice and expensive as well. So. That's absolutely true. 
Bob, I'm curious what, you, what you've what you seen out of this North Texas team, and uh, you mentioned looking ahead. I was curious who has the scout for Richmond. It's a, uh, Ronnie has the scout for Richmond. Ronnie Everhart has the scout for Richmond, and uh, Eric Martin has the scout for, for North Texas. They're athletic. North Texas is athletic. They're athletic. They they run. They I mean they were they were conference USA champions. They've won twenty games what the last three years, twenty or more games the last three years. They've 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 got it going. And and uh, you know conference USA obviously is is the league that Marshall's in. There's good there's good teams in that league. And you know for them to 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 win the league and and really win it handily, I think they were fourteen and four. Is uh is is a pretty good feat. So it'll it, it'll be good. You know, we we and we went into this, you know, with the idea that we need to play those young guys and 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 see what they got. You know, and try to get some of the uh, some of the nerves out. I mean, look look at look at Isaiah. I mean, Isaiah is playing on national TV against the number one ranked team in the country for a freshman. I mean that's that that uh, the, that takes some nerve. We we need to get these guys, and it's you know it's just a, um, it's hard whenever you're. I mean, we still need to try to win, obviously. Kevin Kinder, it's playing with these quick turnarounds and these things, does that magnify the importance of better talent? of coaches that can adjust better on the fly, of teams that can, you know, take and execute in-game coaching more? Do you see some differences there? I think guys pretty much do what they do. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think anybody tries to come up with uh, the greatest play the world's ever seen in, in 24 hours. You know, that's, it, it, there's there's a lot of things involved. People think, okay, you pass it to this guy and he and he scores, or you get him open, whatever. You got to get it. You got to get all those other guys out of the way. You know, so so it's 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 more than the guy who passes the ball to the guy who makes the basket. It's the other guys getting their guys out of the way so the guy can do what it is that he does best. So I don't. I mean. We're just we're 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 just we're just gonna go play, you know. We tried we tried to scout, like I said. I mean, we had four scouts. We started with Texas A and M and ended up with uh, South Dakota State. And we ended up we started on 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 in the middle of one bracket and ended up on the top of the other one, you know. So, I, you know, it 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 just it just shows that. You, I think you you got to you got to coach the fundamentals, you know, and and it's so much easier to make adjustments when you understand the fundamentals of it. Uh, last question for Coach. We'll go to John. Hey, just real quick, and maybe a question for Josh too, as you finish this. But are you surprised that these guys came open? And if you look at the two teams that you got replacements for, it might be upgrades uh, to be able to get these guys to pop open like this. Um, not really. Um, you, you, you know, you know what, John, it's, it's, uh, and, and this is kind of, I don't know if it's bad to say or whatever, but Josh and I talked about this yesterday, you know, we have people say, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm interested. Can't wait. Yeah. That'd be great for us. That'd be great for our team. Uh, you know, what, 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 what's, what's the guarantee? I mean, you're going to help us with the transportation, you know, whatever. Hey, you know, okay, yeah, we, you know, we kind of said that, oh, well, let me go talk to my AD or let me go talk to my head coach or whatever. You never hear from them again. Hmm. You know, it, it, that's the part that, that's the part that bothers me. Or they say, we'll get back to you within an hour. They call you three days later. Hmm. Well, you know what's been going on. They've been calling everybody else saying, hey, West Virginia said they would do this for us. What will you do? You know, and so so then all of a sudden you get caught in a in, in like a uh, I don't know bidding war is not the right thing that's that that's that's uh, not not the right thing to say but that's basically what it is and, and and you know Josh has been great hey this is what we're doing you know if you want to come and play come and play if you don't want to come and play go somewhere else you know if somebody else is you know doing better for you go do it 
and, and then, but I think the, the thing that has separated him from everybody else who's trying to do that is his stick to itness. Is that a word, John? Stick to itness. Yeah. So, uh, well, you've been at least this demonstrates your aggressiveness to try to play a full 27 game schedule. We owe it to the kids, John. I mean, I, I mean, in my mind, we owe it to the fans as well. Mm-hmm. But we owe it, we owe it to the kids for sure. Mm-hmm. Coach, that's all the questions that I appreciate your time on short notice. Thank you. Always a pleasure being with you, Miss. Thank you. Hey, Miss, since my line's open, I'll ask Josh, uh, how many calls did you make before North Texas was the one that said yes? <laughs>